coach, you uh, called some losses embarrassing. How would you, what would you, just, how would you describe this? Yeah, we lost the game. Um, we got to turn the page to tomorrow. Curious, uh, how does something like this happen, considering A, the urgency of trying not to be in the play, and B, your start down 35 to 4? How did this happen, coach? Yeah, uh, we didn't play well enough in the first quarter. We didn't execute. Um, th when we did, we didn't make shots. And when we got down, we started pressing, and it snowballed. Is there anything when you look at just the preparation as far as yourself and your coaching staff you feel like you could have did differently or better? Always when you lose, there's things you can do better. Like what? Uh, I'm going to leave that between me and my team. So how, would you, how would you describe the accountability in the locker room right now? They want to win tomorrow. Is the accountability there? Do you sense it? Of course. Uh, our offensive toughness. We got to compete for spots, okay, and play through physicality better than we have not just in this game and in recent games. Teams want to get into us and reroute us and foul us. Um, that's the play. That's playoff basketball. Okay, offensively we got to be tougher. Why, why would that happen? What, what, you know, why would the Pittsburgh team score four points and have no 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 field goals? I, I just explained that. You did. Yep. Yes. Yep. Have you ever been in a situation like that? Where I have. have yeah, I've had, I've had some, I've had some blowouts and late season blowouts on teams away on a deep playoff fronts. Okay. To a bad night for us. Okay, we got to turn our attention to, to tomorrow. Okay, my my team understood the message um, that I gave them in the locker room. I don't need to share all that with you. Yeah, we have a comeback strategy that, that's effective for us. Uh, I don't want to get into all the details, but it's 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 bigger and deeper than you know just playing uh, five three point shooters. Um, but that's where it begins. What do you make of the correlation between these types of efforts and when the opposing stars are out? There's been quite a few this year. Yeah, uh, you know that we talked about that pregame. You know, we have to uh, you know, other teams get a lift. You know, when, when their stars are out and oh, I get to shoot, shoot more shots, Russell Westbrook comes in, he's, he's been playing off the bench this whole season. He, he's going to be in a starting lineup. He gets to be, be Russell Westbrook again. Like, we understood that coming in. Uh, we just didn't compete well enough against it. What's the level of frustration in the locker room after? It's high. But we're, we're remaining together and connected and confident. So the locker room is still on the same Yes. Level. Well, I don't want to share that with Ty Lue, but we'll make adjustments. Coach, just looking at individually at yourself, what things have you made you as far as how the game went on things as far as your coaching tonight? What's, what's bothering you right now? Uh, both sides of the ball. You know, we just we got our ass kicked in the first half, you know, so we got to be better. Coach, did you sense the team was flat, or did you sense anything that could have led to this prior to the game beginning? Yeah, no, I didn't sense anything uh, prior to the game. I felt very confident we were going to win this basketball game. Uh, like I told you, we didn't execute early, play with enough offensive toughness. Okay, and Then we missed a lot of open looks, and then we started to press, and we didn't defend well enough. Well, we didn't show it tonight, but we did respond in the second half. We are remaining confident, and you know, I believe in this team. Uh, you have to ask him about the hip. Uh, I just think he's in a tough stretch right now. A couple games he hasn't shot the ball that well. He's the best three-point shooter in, in the league percentage-wise. And um, we're very confident in Grayson Allen.